Hi dear students, today we have come with a new video of class 6. So we have already discussed about physical quantities and measurement and there we have learned about the physical quantities like length, mass, time and temperature. So today we will discuss the last physical quantity as per our book that is area. Okay. So talking about area it is not a new physical quantity for you. You have already learned it in class 5 and you have measured the area of different objects. So first we have to see what is the definition of it. Let's see. So definition of area whenever we have to write down it is told that the surface occupied by an object is known as the area of that object. Okay, so if I keep a surface in one place, how much surface is occupied by it? That is known its area. Just see an example. As a one man object just like this. Okay, smiley type object. So if I put it on the board, it is occupied some place. It is occupied some surface. So what will be the occupied surface? That will be this. Okay, so this surface that is occupied by this object. So here, this surface will be the area of the object. Okay, so that seems to be the area. Clear? So it is the area. Now the question has come, sir, so how we can able to measure the area? So I am just allow you to remember that whatever we have learned in class 5. So there we have learned some area of regular shaped objects okay so what are the area of regular shaped objects first the easiest one it seems to be square so for the case of square we can say that if I am taking a square whose length is L okay and for the square the length will be same for that the area will be length square or L square that is the area of the square okay number two if I am taking a rectangle so for rectangle we know it seems to be like this it has a length and has a breadth okay so in that case the area will be length into breadth that is also known to us that is L into B that is the area of the rectangle now talking about the third thing that is triangle so how we can able to find the area of a triangle if I am talking about triangle, it seems to be looking like this. Okay. So this portion, that should be known as the base. Okay. And if I have drawn a perpendicular here, that seems to be the height of the triangle. Okay. So in a triangle, we can get a base, we can get a height. So... The area should be half into base into height. And generally we denote height by H and base by B. So we can write it should be half into B into H. That is the area of triangle. Apart from this also one thing is left that I have to write here. That is circle. So 
if it is a circle and it should have a radius and we denote the radius by r in that case the area of the circle will be noted as pi r square where r equals to the radius now the question that come to your mind sir what is pi okay so pi is a constant quantity that you have to remember that pi is equals to 22 by 7 okay it is a constant quantity you have to remember now you might be asking sir from where this thing has come that pi r square so for that you have to wait and in the maths class I think the concept of pi will be clear okay so for my uh, opinion if you just want to know what is pi I can say you that for a circle that for a circle the ratio of diameter I'm sorry the ratio of perimeter to diameter is known as pi and whose value is 22 by 7 and it should remain same for any circle any of the circle if you have taken if you take the ratio of the circles perimeter to the diameter perimeter means perimeter means the circumference okay that is known as perimeter the whole path and diameter means we all know what is diameter this is the diameter which is denoted by D. So this perimeter by diameter if I have taken a ratio of any circle it will come pi. Okay and that is a constant quantity and by that we can able to measure the area of a circle that is pi r square. Okay I think you have understood that. See we have discussed that how we can able to find out the area of regular shaped object. Now you might be thinking that in our books it is also given how we have to find out the irregular shaped object. That we have to discuss. Definitely we have to discuss. But before that we have to discuss one more thing. That is the units of area. After that we will discuss about how we can able to find the area of irregular shaped object so let's see whenever we are talking about the unit of area we are discussing mainly two units first one it is the SI unit and second one it should be the CGS unit so what is the SI unit of area that is known as square meter and it is denoted by this m square Okay, that is square meter. And what is the CGS unit? The CGS unit is square centimeter, which is denoted by CM square. Now, as like the previous unit, we have defined, here also you have to define, but how? Let's see. So, to define one square meter okay what we have to take we have to take a square and we will assume the side of the square should be L and there is a value of L here what is the value of L that L should be 1 meter and if I find the area then it will be L square for a square that is 1 meter square that means by that way we can able to define 1 square meter so we can write area of a square of side 1 meter each will be 1 square meter Okay, so by SQM we can abbreviate square meter. Okay, similarly, whenever we have to define when 
one square centimeter. Here also I have to take a square and each of the side I will take this one centimeter. Okay, each of the side I have to take one centimeter. So what will be the area of the square? It will be one centimeter whole square that is one centimeter square. So by that we can able to define the CGS unit also that is the area of a square of side 1 centimeter each will be 1 square centimeter. Okay, so these are the common units of area. But problem is that apart from this CGS and SI unit, we can use many more units for the case of area. Okay, so let's see what are the other units of area. Okay, so I have to erase this thing. So first we will see the multiples of a psi unit of area. Okay. Multiples of a psi unit of area. So, in this list, so here we have to discuss some another units. Okay. So, what is that? So, first one it will come decameter square. It should have another name also. It is 1 R. A R E. 1 R means decameter square. Okay. We all know 1 decameter it is equals to 10 meter. So 1 decameter square means here we have to take a square whose each side will be 10 meter. 1 decameter means 10 meter. So each side of the square it will be 10 meter. So if I find the area here, so area will be 1 decameter. whole square that means 10 meter whole square that is 100 meter square and this 100 meter square will be 1 decameter square or 1 R. So we can conclude 1 R is equals to 100 meter square that is a new unit for you that is 1 R. Okay. So apart from this also, one more unit is given. Okay. So we have to write here. That one is known as 1 hectare. We have learned R and now we have to learn another unit that is known as hectare. So hectare is nothing but hectometer square. Hector is nothing but hectometer square. So we have done a kilo, hecto, deca, meter, then deci, centi, milli. So like this way. Hectometer square. So here we have to take a square whose each side will be one hectometer. One hm. One hectometer. One hectometer. And it is also... 1 hectometer. Clear? And 1 hectometer equals to how much meter? 1 hm is equals to 100 meter that we all know. So if I want to find the area of square, so it will be 1 
hectometer square and that means 100 meter square 100 meter square means 1 0 0 0 0 meter square we can write it 10 to the power 4 meter square why because you see here four zeros are there one two three four so as there are four zeros so we can write 10 to the power 4 meter square so we can conclude that one hectare is equals to 10 to the power 4 meter square so from here we have learned two units one r that is equals to 100 meter square and one hectare that is equals to 10 to the power 4 meter square there are two units who, whose are multiples of SI unit clear and now we have to learn the another thing that is very much common that is square kilometer okay so if I am taking a square a square place whose each side will be 1 kilometer. This is 1 kilometer, this is 1 kilometer, this is 1 kilometer and this is 1 kilometer. So if I want to find the area, so area it will be 1 kilometer square and 1 kilometer means we all know that 1 kilometer that is equals to 1000 meter so it should be 1000 meter whole square so it will come 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 meter square okay six zeros will be there so we can write 10 to the power 6 meter square okay so where we can write 1 square kilometer is equals to 10 to the power 6 meter square that is also another multiples of the SI unit of area okay so three units we have learned okay three new units that is 1 R that is equals to 100 meter square 1 hectare that is equals to 10 to the power 4 meter square and 1 square kilometer that is equals to 10 to the power 6 meter square clear now we have to see the multiples of CGS unit and sub multiples of SI unit so what is that unit it will be another unit we have to discuss here that is square decimeter okay so square decimeter that means if I have taken a square whose each side will be one decimeter okay it is also one decimeter it is also one decimeter it is also one decimeter okay so then the area of the square should be one decimeter square and that should be one square decimeter clear Okay, Achha, one decimeter means how much centimeter? We all know one decimeter means 10 centimeter because meter, decimeter, centimeter. So one decimeter means 10 centimeter. So 10 centimeter means if I convert the area, so the area will be 10 centimeter whole square. So it will be 100 centimeter square. So from here we can conclude 1 square decimeter that is equals to 100 centimeter square. So that will be a multiple of CGS unit. But here is a problem. If I want to find out in a form of SI unit, so for that case 1 decimeter will be 1 by 10 meter that is 0 0.1 meter so if I find the area there so it will be 1 by 10 meter whole square it will be 1 by 100 
meter square so that means 0 0.01 meter square so one square decimeter should be equal to 0 0.01 meter square so it is a sub multiple of the SI unit okay so it is multiple of CGS unit and sub multiple of SI unit. Not only that, if I want to convert the CGS unit to SI unit. So assume I want to see 1 square centimeter. So square centimeter means I am taking a square whose each side will be 1 centimeter. No doubt of it. And its area will be 1 centimeter square. So 1 cm square. Clear? But if I want to convert it into SI. So there 1 centimeter should be equal to 1 by 100 meter. Okay. And area then it will be 1 by 100 meter whole square. So 1 by 1 0 0 0 0 meter square or we can say 0 0.0001 meter square. That is 1 square centimeter. Okay. 1 square centimeter that will be 0 0.0001 meter square. Okay, so that is also a relation. Remind the relation clearly because from here the conversion will come. Okay, so be careful. So some multiples of CGS and SI unit and in this category we will take only one. That is square meter. I'm sorry, square millimeter or it is denoted as mm square. So that means here I have taken one square whose side is one millimeter. So here the area will be one millimeter whole square that is one millimeter square. If I just want to convert it into CGS we all know one millimeter that is equals to 1 by 10 centimeter. So here the area 1 millimeter square it will be 1 by 10 centimeter whole square and that means 1 by 100 centimeter square and that can be written as 0 0.01 centimeter square. Okay. Sometimes it also be written as 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter square. Why? Why this minus 2 has come? Because here we have taken 1 by 100. So as 100 is in a denominator, so we have to write 10 to the power minus 2. So that's why minus has come. When we are talking only about 100, then it will be 10 to the power 2. But when it is 1 by 100, so it is 10 to the power minus 2. Simple thing. Next, if I want to convert it into SI unit. So here, 1 millimeter equals to 1 by 1 by 1000 meter. Okay, so 1 by 1000 meter, if I put here, that 1 millimeter square equals to 1 by 1000 meter whole square. So it will be 1 by 1 0 0 0 0 0 meter square. That means you see if I just write it in decimal it will be 0 0.0000001 meter square or it can be written as 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. So here you see 6 zeros are there that's why 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. So these are the sub multiples of the CGS and SI unit both that is millimeter square. Apart from these units also some other units we have to learn 
that is for our general use. First one that is square yard. So that relation you have to remember only. So one square yard that is equals to 0 0.836 meter square or nearly you can say 0 0.84 meter square. Number one. Number two. One square feet. So square feet means it is uh, mainly a FPS unit and it should be 0 0.09290 meter square. Apart from that, one acre. Acre that is used mainly to measure a long, a large land. So in that case, acre is used. One acre equals to 4046.856 meter square. So these units you have to remember because in conversion they can be asked. From where it has come it is not needed but as per your book these are general units of area and you have to remember this thing. Okay. Some numericals from the area. So assume if it is given that the length of a square is given equals to 5 meter then what will be its area so it is very simple it is 5 meter whole square that is 25 meter square if it is asked us to convert it in centimeter square that means in CGS unit so how we have to convert that 1 meter square that is 100 centimeter whole square that means 1000 centimeter square that is 10 to the power 4 centimeter square and then 25 meter square equals to 25 into 10 to the power 4 centimeter square okay it is one numerical we have seen assume if I go for the another numerical that is assume a rectangle okay for that rectangle the length it is given assume 2 meter and breadth is equals to 1 meter. Then what will be the area? So it is clear the area will be 2 into 1. So 2 meter square. If it, it is also converted into centimeter square, so it will be 2 meter square equals to 2 into 10 to the power 4 centimeter square. So here we are discussing mainly the area of regular shaped object. Coming to the area of triangle. So assume for a triangle, if it is given base, it is equals to 6 centimeter and height equals to 8 centimeter. Okay. Then what will be its area? We know the area will be half into base into height. Clear? Yeah. So half of 6 into 8. So this much 24 centimeter square. So if it is told us to convert it in meter square, how we have to convert? Now we know that 1 meter square equals to 10 to the power 4 centimeter square. Similarly, 1 centimeter square will be 1 by 10 to the power 4 meter square. That means 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So in this case, 24 centimeter square means 24 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So by that way we can able to convert this. Okay. And last one from the area of a circle. Okay. So assume the radius of a circle is given 21 centimeter okay 
and it is told find the area. We know the equation of area equals to pi r square. So pi means, I have already told, it is having a constant value 22 by 7. And r square, so radius is already given, so r equals to 21 centimeter. So r square means 21 square. Okay, so we can write it 22 by 7 into 21 into 21. So if I multiply here, okay, and it will come 66 into 21 whole centimeter square. So let calculate it here. 6, 6, 12 and 30. Okay. So it is 1386 centimeter square. And if it is told to convert in meter square, so it will be 1386 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Okay, 10 to the power 4 means what? 10 to the power 4 means 1386 into 1 by 1 0 0 0 0. Okay, this much meter square. So that means 0 0.1386 meter square. Okay, so these type of numericals may come in the exam. Okay, we have done it a little bit of hurry. But I think if you see it properly, then you can able to understand. If you have any doubt in any portion, just pause the video in that place and rewind it. Then I think you can able to understand. Thank you.